that goes into black as well. Okay, so well done if you've got this far already. Well done. It's a, it's a big learning exercise. It's a big change in the way that you're used to thinking about how you paint. It's a, it's a lot of effort and it's very tiring to be constantly observing and then trying to replicate what you see. I understand that's a, that's a really tiring process when it's new. But well done for taking this on. I'd love to know what kind of music do you guys listen to when you paint? Do you listen to music when you paint? Does that help spur you on creatively or does it hinder you? Do you need absolute quiet? Problem with me for quiet is that as soon as oh, I am an introvert, I do need my own space regularly. My brain ticks at about a million miles an hour. And whenever I'm alone, my brain just goes overboard. And while I really need that to be able to process like life and stuff, I really need that alone, t alone time to, to have to think about things. I go a bit nutty if I haven't had it. Um, if I'm alone too much and I'm, I'm stuck with my own thoughts too much, like I'm sure most of us, um, I just start overthinking everything. Hey, I, I get really, especially when I'm doing something monotonous or that, for me, this is subconscious now. This isn't something I give too much conscious thought to other than the telling myself whether it needs to be um, warmer or cooler or lighter or darker. I don't, I don't give an awful lot of conscious thought to it. I am, in saying that, I am, uh, what's the word, purposeful about the marks I make. I am thinking about the marks I'm making as I'm painting. But I'm not. I'm not sitting there overanalyzing things. I'm not. I'm not doing any of that while I paint. So it's really a different part of my brain, other than the the usual crazy overthinking part, that's working. So that that sort of leaves room for my brain to start. One part of my brain's thinking about what I'm painting, and the other part's going, hmm. I wonder about this and I wonder about that and I wonder what would happen if this happened or that happened and and then I start overthinking everything and I really start overthinking and, and when I start overthinking it's bad and the only thing that stops me from overthinking like that in a, in a really negative way is to have music on um, I've had people say to me to have music on all the time is not healthy I agree with that because you, you know, our brains do actually need quiet time to process things. But also in saying that, I, I can't have so much quiet time and my job is a very quiet job. Um, I can't have so much quiet time that it actually is gonna cause me damage to just mill over things all the time. So I find when I'm painting, uh, having some music on or driving for that matter, I don't like driving in quiet. I really don't. I mean, I, I do if I'm really tired. That makes sense. But um, I travel a lot of long distances for my, my work, sometimes over a thousand kilometers a week. And um, I like to have some music to keep my thinking part of the brain quiet because when songs come on, I like in my brain or potentially out loud, I'm singing away. And um, I really really want to keep that part of my brain quiet so that I can focus on my driving and I can focus on my painting without too much distraction because as soon as my thoughts start milling over something I get very distracted and I don't drive well and I don't paint well and everything kind of hits the fan so for me it's definitely much better that I keep the thinking part of my brain occupied while I'm painting, keep it quiet. And that means I can have some music going. I can tell my brain to shut up and sing along. <laughs> and then um, later in the day, usually around four o'clock when I have my, my break, I have my cup of tea.
that's when when I um, take some time to mull over things for the day and I turn the music off and do a bit of contemplating whatever I need to whatever I need to think about or plan or take some action on something I should have given some more thought to that I didn't that's my time for that but not while I'm painting I can't paint to save my life if, if I've got too much quiet which is why I'm filling up all this time with talking to you and not actually giving you any quiet time um, okay, so we'll leave it there for today. We've got the, the leaves done. We've got a very nice gold, deep gold pear happening there. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint a very cool coloured background. And, um, and that'll really help warm up the look of the pear and the leaves instead of it being a, a sort of a cool flat colour, which it looks at the moment. It'll really make it pop. All right, so we look forward to you in the next lesson. And I hope you enjoyed today and I hope you are learning something and I'm, I'm not going too fast for you. I have a really bad habit of yap yabbering away at all sorts of unimportant things and not giving you the information you actually need. So if that's the case, do let me know. But otherwise, we'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, guys, take care. Bye.